What's going on everyone? My name is Uli Lito and today we have a brand new video on my channel where I will be showing you how our week league went on Xbox first of all. I know this video is one day late uh, and that is because I was in Stockholm both Sunday and Monday. Uh, and you will know what I did soon, I promise you that. And the NIP kits and the badge have actually dropped in game. Just for me though, the kit and the badge is coming soon. I can't tell which date, but it's coming soon, I'm telling you that. Um, but as I said, fantastic to have uh, our own kit and the badge in game as well. I uh, feel like I'm definitely representing Ninjas in pajamas even more then. So uh, yeah, hopefully a lot of you guys will be wearing it in game when uh, it releases. I really, really hope so. Um, we played some amazing FIFA this weekend. Um, as you guys probably know, all of you, uh, I didn't stream any Xbox games and that was because I needed to get a 29 or a 30 to uh, gain the max pro points for um, this month uh, before the qualifier that is on starting on this Saturday, it is actually. Uh, so I'm having fully pro points, 60 pro points out of 60, which feels super good. Um, and yeah, I spoiled, I, sp I spoiled it a bit, not gonna lie. But as I said, we played amazing FIFA uh, the team just clicked once again. And I definitely feel like, of course, I am playing better when I'm playing off stream. I am. Because when you're playing on, uh, on stream, you need to take care of the chat. You know, you're thinking of all other types of things, you know, instead of just playing, right? So um, I definitely felt like I played much better than I usually do, which was a super nice feeling, of course. Um, and I'm actually feeling quite comfortable going into the qualifier. I played some games yesterday when I got home. Um, and um, yeah, I beat a lot of pro players, which feels super good. Um, um, I'm feeling pretty decent, actually, with 4 2 3 one at the moment. Um, I shouldn't say I've switched from 4 2 to 4 2 3 one, but I definitely feel like I can play 4 2 3 one as well uh, with 4 2 2 which uh, is super nice, of course. Um, feeling confident with two formations or even three formations is always nice. And in the background, we had a pretty tough game here. Neymar scores to make it 2-1. Van de Sade 87, by the way. What an amazing goalkeeper he is. Uh, but Ronaldo said no. And CR7, once again, uh, is through on goal. I think he is having Courtois, and Courtois can't do anything against CR7. CR7 has actually been great for me uh, lately, which, um, of course, is feeling good. Because playing with R9 and CR7, the thing I wanted with CR7 instead of Mbappe was that CR7 is so much more clinical, I think, both with left and right feet, foot, sorry. Um, and it seems like CR7 has five star weak foot. I'm not lying, his left foot is really good, actually. and. In my opinion, he scores a lot more goals than Mbappe, and it feels like he is a bit more clinical than Mbappe is, which I really wanted uh, with my other striker when I'm playing two striker formation. And CR7 can, of course, play, uh, play as a winger as well um, in the 4 2 3 1. So that is one thing. I definitely th think I did good in my team. I implemented CR7 instead of Mbappe it was a really, really good choice, I think. And um, since the patch, I just. I just feel like CR7 has been so much better than Mbappe has been, you know, for me. Mbappe was great for me, not gonna lie, but CR7 just has that little bit of magic when he clutches up in the later stages of the game, which um, is really, really important in these tough games, because we had some tough games this week, and I'm telling you that timing on Tower 9, he is through on goal, and R9, too clinical, doesn't miss from there, uh, scores to make it 4-1, and that was GG's. We actually decided to pull down Bamba in the box though. Bamba's player of the month, I think that was. Um, unfortunately, Mbappe didn't get one, but hopefully we can get a CR7 team of the week this uh, upcoming week. That would be sick, and just before Black Friday. I think there actually will be a best auto team of the week on Friday. Uh, there was one last year at the same time on Black Friday, so uh, we will probably be saving our rewards until Friday 6 p.m. UK time or 7 p.m. Um, Swedish time and I'm actually will be playing in a pro tournament today at uh, starting 7.30 Swedish time, 6.30 UK time, uh, playing in uh, Joey Charps pro tournament uh, actually, so you will be seeing the NIP kits and the NIP badge, uh, NIP badge in game there which uh, is of course a super nice feeling to be wearing them as I said in the start of the video, just, Son just bangs that into the top of the net and 
His goalkeeper can't do anything. CR7 and R9 linking up once again. Just doing some step overs with CR7. And then choosing the direction to go through. And that is 4-0 in that game. Um, I had some tough opponents though this weekend. And I'm not like the other guys that play all games on Sundays, you know. I was done by Saturday. I played 60 games a week league before Sunday even started, you know. So, because I needed to go on Stockholm on Sundays. That was why I was done with weekly on Saturday. So, wait. Look at this goal, by the way. Like, this is so, so, so good. Just a timing find in CR7 and a fantastic finish from him. But where were I? Um... No, but I, I needed to go on to stock, uh, go to Stockholm on Sunday, so I was already done with all the 60 games on Saturday, which was uh, a nice feeling, of course, taking a day break. But um, it is harder to play all 30 games on Saturday. Um, on Sunday, uh, I feel like the matchmaking is a lot, um, a lot easier, I think, and especially with the glitch happening now on Xbox. Um, so I know there are a lot of guys that is going. Or is playing RTGs at the moment on Xbox, and I'm and I'm like, how can you even do a 30-0 with that team, man? Maybe they are cheating. Maybe I, I don't know. Like, I'm not blaming anyone, but there's just one glitch that I need to get out of the game. In 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 my opinion, uh, definitely. Uh, Neymar though scores the first goal for him. This was the toughest matchup of them all this weekend. Um, CR7 though and R9 linking up. Neymar fake shot and yeah, smashes it into the net. I love Neymar, man. He has been so good for me recently. R9, finding Son with a perfect pass, actually, and scores to make it 2-1. Uh, and this guy was actually really, really, really good. I think he ended up going Elite 1 or Elite 2, which is definitely a decent finish. He's getting just scores here to make it 2-2. A bit mad on one side that, that he didn't save that, but in the end, it was a good finish by him. Uh, once again, he's finding... All types of players here with Conte, Bruno Fernandes, Garincha, and Garincha was going to cause me a lot of problems because, yeah, he scores once again to make it 3 2. And in the later stages of the game here, you see it's the 88th minute. And I think I think I had some eyes here to be fair. I could have passed like into CR7 and uh, R9 a lot, but just play, passing it around, just playing real football, and yeah, CR7 strikes it into the back of the net in the 90th of minute. And then we subbed in Atal here, and this is a perfect pass from Kyle Walker to Josef Atal. Just fake shot, finding Neymar, and yeah. Scores in the 119th minute, and that was GG. So I could have easily lost that game and uh, lost my head, of course, but we didn't. Um, as I said, we, we played some really good FIFA. Um, and this weekend we played all games with 4 triple 2 um, So you guys know that beforehand. R9, a bit lucky there. Did get the ball back there. Um, fantastic goal this. Uh, CR7 finding R9, finding Son with one touch and then open net. And these, the bridges, like the bridge skill move is too overpowered, man. I'm using it a lot recently and it's because it's so damn good. And when people using it against me, it seems like you can't do anything because you really can't, right? Your center back is just glitching. R9, once again, just turning and twisting with the Gomez and Gomez can't do anything about it. Just here. Finding the right timing and uh, a bit lucky here though that CR7 wins the ball here. But as I said, CR7 doesn't miss these chances, you know. He is so clinical in front of goal, which I really, really rate on this game. Because versus pro players, you won't get a lot of chances, you know. And CR7 scores in these, imp in these important moments, right? And then just an easy cross, CR7 with the scorpion kick. I was pretty excited about that goal, to be fair. I was... Uh, Jumping a bit in my chair there, but as I said, CR7 too powerful once again. And uh, this was for 29 and 0. No, sorry, 28 and 0. We were here playing our, I mean, our most important game actually. Because if we got 29, we got max pro points. CR7 scores to make it 1 0 here. R9 once again doing the bridge, finding the back of the net. R9 a bit same same goal as the second one, and then CR7 finding the absolutely insane chip life. And uh, CR7 and R9 doing the C together. And we even consider one goal to make it 4-1. But CR7 wasn't done. Finding the half drag back into Elastico and then, uh, yeah, fantastic finish from him. So this was the last game of this week. And I was like, nah, is this, is this going to be a versus a pro last game? Really? Oh, are you doing that to me, eh? But as I said, played fantastic FIFA. The bridge once again. You see, this was actually a tight game. I scored in the 43rd minute. Um, and then straight after 
at half time sony finds a lot of space here finding neymar and neymar doesn't miss from here fantastic finish from neymar santos down junior and we conceded one of these goals I just feel like, what can I do about this? Defending perfectly, Neymar gets the ball back and I was pretty mad about that goal to be fair. You know, I just wanted it. Thank you everyone for watching though. I appreciate you a lot. Uh, subscribe to me if you're new around here. Watch out on my Instagram and Twitter today because uh, we won a pretty nice thing. I'm telling you that. See you in the next one. Peace.